Hello, good morning. Uh, I hope everybody has uh, had voted na no and then happy ra kung kinsay na dako guruban pa. So, let's go back to regular programming. Oh, again, so good morning. Uh, last Friday, we were able to meet with your other classmates who are fortunately present in the com computer laboratory. Uh, I also turned on the Google uh, the Google Meet, but murag, I I I don't think na ay naka join. So that's why uh, I will record. Uh, so far, ang hinom duman ako that we discussed during that Friday. Okay, so the first uh, the first uh, things that we discuss the 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 first thing that I presented during the last Friday is how to write a research proposal. Again, uh instead of research proposal instead of making a research proposal using different data science tasks or different data science method uh, i opt to let you make only the introduction and not the objective anymore only the introduction but you need to prepare three different studies using uh, any of the method i presented you can either use the whole the, the three method or you can use other myth method that is not indicated there in the description which i uploaded also in the google classroom if na my method nga nahibal and like fuzzy genetic algorithm uh clustering and many other method nga pwede pud ninyo gamiton that method that are used that you that you understand so well na okay so here so this is just a very quick uh review or a very quick uh discussion with regards to how to prepare research proposal for computer science studies so the first thing that you need to do is to the first thing that you need to do is to oh sorry is to uh, identify the problem and, uh, and, and approach to fix the problem so meaning to say uh, before you write an introduction or before you make a research proposal or a research uh, introduction make sure that you have uh, idea in mind already meaning to say you have identified a problem and then the way to solve is the way to solve it is using the method using the data science method so as uh, same good same before as you are working on your pitching the ideation the bmc diba nag think man mo og problem nag think mo og kanang what's happening around you uh what's need to be fixed using the 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 method that we have now let's say for example kanang mga predictive analysis of uh, kanus a uh, 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 kinsa ang mga tao nga prone masakit og kanang na diabetes or uh like mga diseases ana and then you can also uh predict the performance of the student or the the kind of rabag, I, I, classification of the student can say mo graduate can say uh di mo graduate or decision making when it comes to do i have to do i have to finish the comsci or do you have to finish any 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 program or i just stayed at home and work on my own like that that this the, the, the problem with that and then the you were giving it solution using the data science or using method that will somehow uh, help you uh, classify help you predict or help you uh, identify okay so deduce data requirements and collection method the following three uh, uh, the following three steps are not uh, you're not actually doing this since I only asked for the for the uh, introduction however uh, it must also be uh, important that you know this this procedure for you to be able to write your proposal which will be required during the first semester okay so deduce data requirements and collection method meaning to say you are going to analyze your data you're going to look for how are you going to gather the data and then number three is understand the data and the data preparation you know what data is more redundant ng data because what is really important when it comes to this kind of method is you have the data so if you have the best data if you have the kan bang nice nga, nga, nga data sets meaning to say equivalent na siya how your model is trained well okay if your data is not that reliable imo hang train imo hang model ana it doesn't dili gihapon siya ing ana ang level of accuracy niya ang level of reliability niya is not good 
Okay, so generate models and evaluate them. Now, in order for you to generate the models, you need to have the data. Okay, and we also have how to write the introduction. So here, uh, write an introduction. This should include an overview of the concept, terms, and issues involved with your project. So place your project in a greater context of computer science or mathematics by starting with a more general scope and so on and so forth. So uh, what I did uh, share last Friday is that introduction is very important because you are actually giving other than the abstract introduction is also amurashag matawag na tong first impression last meaning to say if you have a good introduction introduction pa lang uh, the readers or the panel or any other who are interested in your in your um, manuscript or in your study will understand na dayon introduction pa lang makasabot na that's why i i give you the four the four paragraph introduction we're in uh, what should be uh, what should be indicated or what should be uh, included in the first paragraph in the second paragraph in the third paragraph and in the fourth paragraph it's really important if you have uh, uh, concise or kanang uh, all the details are already sum summarized in the introduction because honestly honestly in Honestly, in making the manuscript, is us personally, when I have the manuscript or when I have the, the thesis proposal or it may be for oral defense already, I really look for the introduction. And then the rest, especially the RRL, because it's really lengthy and then I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if it's really, uh, it's really uh, good. That's why I start from the introduction. I read the introduction one by one, and then the theoretical framework, conceptual framework, I just read it later. But the conceptual, I read it. But the RRL and other, that is really uh, lengthy for me to read. I'm not sure. So that's why uh, it's really important for you to give the impression pa lang sa introduction. Okay? So... We also have classified a specific problem or concern. This is also one which is you have to clarify what's the problem. What's the problem that you need to solve? And then you have to make sure that the method that you are going to use is the best fit, best fit siya in possible manner with the specific, with the specific problem that you need to solve. Okay? And then uh, this, this is the example actually for the, this is personally, this is my, uh, ka ng, a thesis when I have my uh, master's in computer science master of science in computer science way back 2018 or 19 okay so uh, the first paragraph which was which was also noted in the description of your major project which I uploaded again in in a Google classroom that the first paragraph uh, in the first paragraph pa lang, uh, you have to include what the, your study is all about. Meaning to say, sa introduction pa lang, the first paragraph, muna na siyag mini introduction. Meaning to say, everything is there. Uh, from the title pa lang, na-explain na ni mo sa first paragraph. So, let's say, for example, my study is about optimization of class scheduling using genetic algorithm approach. Uh, meaning to say, sa title pa lang, sa first paragraph pa lang, mabasa na, masabda na nako, what's the problem and what is the solution? So, uh, here, I, I actually, uh, I actually uh, describe my method and then after sa method, gi-explain na ako that I choose the problem uh, nga class class scheduling because genetic algorithm based on my research genetic algorithm when it comes to scheduling optimization genetic algorithm is the best choice but that's that is why I, I explain here that genetic algorithms may make the process of natural selection technique for solving complex optimization problem and then later part on the first paragraph I also I also indicated here that in the context of class scheduling, the processes of the genetic operators, mo na gitaga buhata na ko og kanang situation we're in that we're in, it actually tells about in class scheduling the best choice or method to use is the genetic algorithm. So here pa lang makita na nato what's the problem is all about and then what will be the solution of that certain problem. Okay, so the next paragraph, 
which is paragraph 2 is uh, what I write about this is that what the other authors says about your study meaning to say this is actually what we called a mini RRL or a a mini review of related literature wherein all this all the existing study related to your study or related to the method you are using are actually put together in this paragraph so in the study conducted by lucas et al or lucas and then the other authors he was able to present method for solving his timetable problem and then we have the exmo from china and then we also have other uh i i i only mentioned here three three or two blanca ka studies because actually genetic algorithm is dili siya yung anak ka common nga study that's why mag, naglisod po pang itag uh, literature but that's fine that's okay i was able to so here this is the this is the study wherein exist na siya using the genetic algorithm or ni ni, ni exist na siya using that problem uh, that that study using other method like here si lucas i will represent for method using genetic algorithm so gi, gi, gi combine niya with heuristic search the best fit combination of all courses to be scheduled in in one group whereas the function of heuristic search is to arrange time slots so this is also the the approach when it comes to uh, solving problem in the university of Pilipitia harapan so maone siya gigamit nila and then other studies also is kanang mag deliver ka og kanang specially uh, kanang mga logistics meaning to say kanang mga truck delivery kanang especially kanang mga Lazada karon kanang mga uh, Shopee karon they have to they have to make sure that they are they they, they give optimity op optimization when it comes to the schedule sa kanang mga container vans kanang pag kanang mga logistics traveling mga scheduling that is the best way the best way is to use the optimization and then use the genetic algorithm and then uh paragraph three is about the gap of the study meaning to say the study that was uh in indicated or included in the paragraph two you have to make sure that in the paragraph three ma mention ni mudiri on say gaps study what are this what are those mentioned in the study in paragraph two na gusto ni may solve on say wala pa nila na solve that you are trying to solve in the paragraph three or that you are trying to solve in your in your study so here since this project the the proponent or the 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 people or the the company or the or the research local of this of this study is actually the sdssu uh sssu tagbina campo so actually every uh, all the the branches or most of the school or socks the state university and state university and colleges are actually using manual implemented pang uh, scheduling even here manual gihapunta so the manual implemented forming of school timetable is really slow that's why sometimes madugay mahatag load ang enrollment dugay ka start because uh, scheduling is not just kana mga rumo sulod kani mga oras scheduling is somewhat complex kay na pa diha ang pag-assign sa maestro pag pag paghatag og rooms unsa nga facilities ang kinahanglan gamiton and then uh, ang oras everything is actually daghan siya mga component wherein uh, sometimes you have to optimize which component adto nga perfect siya nga it tanang mga tanang mga requirements at nga mga component ma meet let's say for example ang maestra available ba siya ana nga oras nga di magka conflict conflict available ba siya ana nga oras okay ba siya ana nga subject the next one is the the the, the schedule uh, kani nga schedule wala bay conflict ani nga mogamit ani nga room or kani nga mais kani nga schedule wala bay mo conflict ani nga maestra sa lain subject so all the components must be go hand in hand for you to be able to meet the best fit schedule or meet the best fit timetable okay so in this study i mentioned here that in surigados or state university tagbina campus in particular the class the class schedule used is manually implemented so sa paragraph pa lang you have to state what is the problem that you need to gusto nimo solutionan and then these are the the, the situation where in moy nakita nimo murag ang gap sa study gid mismo but this is where it belongs the paragraph 3 now the paragraph Four. This is paragraph four. So paragraph three. The paragraph four is the more about 
conclusion wherein this paragraph 4 is the purpose of your study this is where you will uh, use you will mention that uh, this study intends to create a model on class scheduling which can fix some of the constraint or most of the constraints that is actually uh, schools or other uh, other class scheduling or other timetable that most of the SUC the state university campus are facing Okay, so that would be for the four paragraph, four paragraph format. So I already uploaded the, the description. All you need to do is to check it and guide to, to, to have it as your guide. Okay, and then uh, I also mentioned last Friday with regards to how are you going to check? How are you going to check your, how are you going to look for a study? I know you have in mind already kung saan ninyo pag, pag solve. So, there are quite a lot of studies mangin, that's available online. All you need to do is to go to Google. Here. You can go to Helix. You can type scholarly. Google. And then, you, you click Google Scholar and then you can find problems here or, or studies here that using decision decision let's say for example decision tree analysis so you can have a performance of performance of of student in mathematics uh, let's say for example a predictive Predictive analysis of performance on faculty. Let's say, for example, uh, using decision three. So there are all other. Mo populate na nasa og kanang mga mo populate na nasa og kanang mga different uh, related studies. So you can check it here. Pwede niyo mag check dili tag sa tag sa and make it sure that you choose which is the study that you are actually kanang nasabdan and then. You have to make your own. These are just sample, by the way. So, pwede mo makita. Or you can actually use, uh, you can actually look like, let's say, for example, uh, multiple regression. Multiple regression, ana multiple regression analysis, like that. Pwede na demo na yung mga studies diri that actually suggested studies that are using multiple regression and pwede put mo diri mo ag CNN or convolutional convolutional neural network let's say uh, identification of um, banana daghan ng banana diri no so banana left left lift uh, diseases uh, using convolutional. So, from here, makakita na mag mga related literatures. From here, you can uh, identify or you can it can give you more idea kung unsay gusto ni mga study. So, what's really important in doing a research proposal or a research is that you have to bank yourself with uh, researches, you have to bank yourself with literature so that that will be your guide of what you are going to do for your study. In here, put sa Google Scholar, you can see that you can actually uh, filter. So, the study must be within the last five years. So, meaning this, we must start till 2018, which is I already uh, filtered here. So, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, so five years. Okay? So, I actually have checked a lot of studies already. So, daghan kog nakita din nga mga studies that it's i just want you to see that it's really it's really uh doable siya meaning to say doable so daghan kay siya pwede gyud nimo makita nga mga studies this one so i have i i i i checked the studies last so daghan gyud siya so these are all you seeing different different kanang kuan uh different uh, methodology using a computer science methodology or data sciences let's say for example na mga uh, fishing for content and social media proceeding on computer using uh, many maybe he's using clustering and uh, mga identification using uh, 
basa all the data that is actually and these are all from Google Scholarship, Google Scholar. Okay, so what else? So the last thing that I am going to inform you is that uh, na atay ang ato final exam will be face to face. So that most probably that will be on June. That would be on uh, June, second week of June, and I hope uh, before that because the deadline of this is actually May 18. So, mas paspaso nato because if if naapatay time, I can still give you some. I can still uh, discuss some of the tools that is available. Let's say for example, we have the Math Lab and we have the Rapid Miner. I'm still new to the tools, but at least I can give you the basic of how are you going to use it. So, again, what you need to do is, i-open ako balik ang kadtong Google Classroom. Okay, internet is really slow. But, uh, while waiting, what you really need to do is to submit this one here. I uploaded it already. So, you have to submit uh major requirements you have to submit three uh, three part on enter introduction uh, using any of the wait sorry uh, using any of the following method again regression we have decision tree and these are just sample ha ang akong gipang mga figures ani and then convolutional however if you have other method that is not included here you can use it you can actually i welcome it as long as you know how to use it properly and uh again how to prepare the introduction for each proposal we have the first paragraph the second paragraph the third paragraph and then the fourth paragraph and there's or there are also some format use a standard font and then we have and one inch page margin and the size of the paper will be a4 so after the submission of the soft copy on may 18 i will be uh, during the finals i will be asking for the hard copy okay so uh, I hope you'll be able to understand what, what what we need to discuss or what I have discussed last Friday. So, if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you need for me to discuss again or if there's anything else that you need to know with regards to your, your with regards to your uh, project, please uh, don't hesitate to message me or to to bring my attention. Okay, so thank you everyone for listening and then I hope uh, everything is good and all, all of you are safe. Okay, thank you.